Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back, baby. I did not mean to take an unexpected break from YouTube and basically not post anything for the month of July, but that's what happened. <laughs> I literally, I just, I don't even know where the month went. It went like that. It was here and then it was gone. And the time to film YouTube videos was just not there. I mean, it just, I just wasn't there. I, I love YouTube. I love filming videos, but it just, it became like a job and that's not what I want it to be. I want it to be super fun and enjoyable to do. And it just became like a nagging thought like, oh my God, I didn't post a video. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then like my, I wasn't, I'm not hauling anything really. I didn't spend any money on wax in July except for my Scentsy Club because I couldn't skip it. So I don't have anything to haul. And then I had like my weekly what I burned and melted, but I wasn't burning that much because I wasn't home that much. And then they just kept piling up. And by the time I was like, oh my gosh, I have like three weeks to show them. It's just overwhelming. So I said, all right, scratch it. We're just gonna come back and reset for August. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're resetting for August. I have my empties here. It's not a lot. It's not, I'm telling you, July, I, I, July just is like, it vanished it vanished into thin air so let's do my empties videos hopefully i will become better with <laughs> posting i don't know we'll see but not hauling is really is really like taking a hit on what i can film for sure because hauls are like the most fun obviously <laughs> but i just i don't need anything i seriously do not need a thing and it's, it's, it's getting much, much easier to not purchase things. I haven't purchased vendor wax in almost a year. September will be a year. Candles, not so much. And Scentsy, not so much. But I didn't do anything in July, which was really great. So anyway, let's do empties and maybe we'll have hauls. I don't know. Fall, fall is fall's tricky because I like fall, but I really love summer. Like I really love summer. Anyway, chocolate banana mudslide from Bath and Body Works. It's half full. I cannot stomach this anymore. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I thought I loved this. I don't know what I was thinking. Frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, a splash of rum. I don't like banana and I don't like chocolate in wax. What in my mind did make me think that I liked this? I think it, be, it was because on cold, like it actually smells like a banana, like a dirty banana, whatever you want to call it, a dirty monkey, blah, blah, blah. It does smell like that. But then when I burn it, it becomes too much and everyone in my home hated this <laughs> like hated this like wanted to shut doors to get away from it hated it yeah so i'm calling this a wash i think i got this i guess maybe 75 percent off i don't know i got this during a sale oh maybe candle day i think i maybe have gotten this on candle day so whatever it's I, i'm calling it it is what it is so i burned like a little less than half of it I tried, I just can't do it. I have so many other things in my collection that I would love to burn for the summer months. So that's what we're gonna do. It also turned incredibly gross, which don't know how that happened because when I tell you I literally burned this just enough to get a wax pool and then blew it out immediately, that's what I did. So I don't know how it got so grody and icky, but it did. So we're calling it a wash. Unfortunately, she just, she wasn't as good to me on warm as she was on cold. I have Pink Pineapple Sunrise from Bath & Body Works. I loved this one. This one was gorgeous. I had this in the kitchen. The packaging is super pretty. It's got these gorgeous like pink coral gold marbled with white leaves and then the white packaging, this really pretty gold lid. This is Sweet Pink Pineapple Palm Sugar and Sun Drenched Nectar. It did fabulous. I mean, utterly fabulous. This was gorgeous. It was strong in the kitchen. It was so perfectly fruity. The pineapple was not too much. Gosh, it was so good. I'm like really, really bummed that this was on the site. I think for 75% off and I didn't do it, but that's okay. There will be something else that will come along that I will enjoy. But yeah, this, this was, this was good. This was, gosh, it was good. It didn't get smoky. It didn't get icky. It just was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So if you picked up picked up Pink Pineapple Sunrise, you got a good one. You definitely did. 
All right, I have Cotton Candy from Colonial Candle. This is in their large 20, 22 ounces, yep. And it's in like a really funky oval shaped jar. They don't make these anymore. I don't even know how long ago this was made, like a long time ago. They don't, it says 2011 on the candle, but I know it's not that. I think that's just when they trademarked their name. Um, it was fine, it was fine. It was a sweet-ish scent, like a warm sugar scent. I wouldn't necessarily say like, oh, cotton candy, but it definitely was good. It was pleasant. I had it in the bedroom and it did just fine. Burned forever though. Like truly, I looking at this, you're like, oh, that doesn't really look like a large jar sort of, I mean, obviously it's large, but you get what I'm saying. Like, it's not like a typical Yankee where you feel like it's gonna take forever to get through. So I was like, you know what? This isn't gonna be too bad. You got your money's worth. <laughs> this was a slow, slow burner, but it did just fine all the way down. A little like icky on the sides, but I mean, it's because this thing only had two wicks. Like this was a lot of surface area for two wicks to try and melt, but it wound up being okay. Not a problem at all. And uh, yeah, I liked it. I Like I said, they, they don't make these anymore. There's really no point in talking about them, but it did well. And this is a super cool vessel. If I needed like a vase, for flowers this would be really nice so that's cool actually I have a birthday party coming up maybe I will clean this out and give them flowers as part of their giftedness because who doesn't love fresh flowers you know I love fresh flowers but these are this is a great and it's thick she's a thick vessel I think I only have yeah one little candle left and it's white sand beaches I yeah I burned this in the bathroom this is blue waters tiari flower and lavender actually this might have been this might be a repeat from last year, or last year. I think this might be a repeat from last month. I just didn't take it out and clean out the wick, so oopsies. I think that's, uh, yeah. In there now I have Endless Weekend and it is so good. It's real good. Okay, I have a Febreze Unstoppable plug-in. I use these in the kitchen. These do just fine. They're good enough for the kitchen. I don't wanna use like a Bath and Body Works cause the outlets are underneath my cabinets like in between the countertop and then the top cabinets. So I don't want the oil to eat away my cabinets. So we use Febreze and they do just fine. A washer whiff in Amazon green from Scentsy. This was disgusting, I hated it. It smelled like literal Elmer's glue. Don't know how, don't know why, but it is, it is like you just dumped a bottle or a tub of Elmer's liquid white glue right here absolutely atrocious thankfully I only used it on like the towels that my cleaning people use and like my hand towels and things like that so I didn't really um I didn't really have to smell it but it also didn't really leave a smell so it worked out in the end but every time I was scooping this in the washer I was like Bleh, glue straight up glue so yeah I, I got it on clearance and I think I know why it was on clearance because she stank not in a good way uh oh I have a Scentsy Fresh in Scentsy Clean. I really, really like this scent. Oh, oh man, I'm so bummed that this is like gone and Clothesline is their core like laundry fragrance for that because I just don't like Clothesline as much as I like this. This is the Scent Clean Breeze just with a different name. Gosh, there, there ain't not a drop left. I made sure to clean her out, but man, so good, a great, cotton like fluffy white cotton sunshine linen scent really really great i loved this i have loved everything that i've used in this scent i tried washer whiffs in this loved them dryer discs the, the scentsy fresh or the yeah the scentsy fresh and scentsy clean anyway i loved it absolutely loved it i would repurchase this they did pop up in a flash sale the the um the washer whiffs but I didn't do it. I was good. I was like, I really, oh, I can do an order, but I don't want to. Thankfully, the $10 shipping really helps put it into perspective of like, do you need this? Do you want to spend another $10 on shipping? So thankfully, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bummed I missed out, but again, maybe it'll be back. Who knows? So Scentsy Fresh or Scentsy Clean is awesome. All right, let's do wax. I got... Silky Soaps, Ocean Breeze, Tide, and Fluffy Flower, 
fluffy towels. Holy moly. Um, these are fine. I got these way back in the day, like maybe, maybe even 2018. And I just wasn't a huge fan back then. And I kept a couple of scents that I liked. I de-stashed, I think on Mercari, the other ones, like, again, this was probably close to five years ago. Um, so I only kept a couple of the ones that I really liked, but it was just, they're just okay. I didn't really love. So yeah, that was fine. Sassy Girl Aroma Sticky Fingers, Cotton Candy Frosting, Noel Waffle Cone. A Trig Tart in L3 in Cotton Candy. I love her Cotton Candy oil. I love her Blue Cotton Candy, her regular Cotton Candy, and her Cotton Candy Craze. I love all three of them. They are so, so, so good. So yeah, the Trig Tart in Cotton Candy. Um, uh, this says 2020, but people, you need to use your wax up. This is me telling you, do as I say, not as I do, because I wrote it in Sharpie, and you can see that it's basically wiped off, because the oils are seeping out of the bag. So, uh, this is why I haven't been purchasing for a year. I have so much, and if I'm just being honest with myself, probably most of it is, it's not going to go bad, but it's not going to be what it once was, so... I overbought thanks to the pandemic. I certainly did. So anyway, I'm trying to try and try real hard to at least use some of it up. So cotton candy was good in a trig tart. Also from Silky Soaps, this was Happy. This is the Clinique Happy Dupe, um, the perfume. Super nice. Not as good. So at the time, this was the only one that I could find in that dupe land. Now Kay's has it and Kay's is better. I'm just going to be honest. A lot stronger, a lot more authentic. So this was fine for what it was, but Kay's Clinique Happy Dupe, perfect. I love it. And when the time comes to be able to purchase some more stuff, Kay's is definitely at the top of my list because I really like Kay's. Mango Coconut Milk from Silky's. Tropical, milky scent, fine. And then I have some clamshells. I have Blue Coconut Beach from Scentsy. This is Lush Palm Leaves, Shade Creamy Coconut, and Whipped Vanilla Beneath a Bright Blue Sky. I was so torn on whether I wanted more of this, blah, blah, blah. I did keep it in the club. I only got one. So I have another three months to think about if I want to get rid of it or not. I don't know. It's like, it's so good on cold. But then I throw it in the warmer and it reminds me a lot of Vendor's Beach Nights, which I have a lot of. So I'm just like, do I need it? I don't know. I don't know. So we, we kept we kept it in the clear. We got one more, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, Clementine Blossom. I love this one. This one is ooh, glow, Golden Citrus Surprises Pink Nectar with a Sugar Blossom Twist. This was, I think, the Valentine's Day collection. So good. This is in the club as well. A beautiful, beautiful, like very, very soft, sweet citrus. Yeah, super, super, super soft. It's not zingy. It's not zesty. It's a very, very soft citrus, but I, I really like it. And it's not very, it's not floral. Like to me, blossom and sugar blossom, and it's more sugary. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. It is light. I don't put it in my big area, but I do like it in my bedroom. Then we have Sand Swept. I don't have the scent notes written. I usually write the scent notes on here, but I don't have them for this one. This one I did not like. It smelled to me like a bathroom cleaner, like an industrial <laughs> bathroom cleaner. I don't know. I didn't love this one. Yeah, that one was not, not a favorite of mine. Then we have Wildflower Cotton. I hated this. I hated this. Oh, I don't have the scent notes on this one either, but wow, did I not enjoy this at all. On cold, it's more bearable but as soon as I put this in the warmer I was like oh no you gotta go absolutely not this is like a very it's such an odd combination of floral but masculine but musky but then you try and throw like a like a cotton note in there almost it is the most bizarre combination to my nose in this realm of laundry, cotton, whatever. It's super, super floral, but also very like musky and masculine to my nose. Yeah, 
definitely, definitely did not keep this one around. A one and done for sure. For sure. I feel like I don't really remember, like, I watch a, I watch a lot of YouTube. I just don't comment on it because I'm, I'm, I'm always either, like, doing stuff or, um, like, drive. I'll listen to them while I drive to work real quick. But um, I don't feel like people really liked that one. So, yeah. Then I also have the North Calls from Sensi. This was, like, a Frozen 2 bar. It's Berry, Grapefruit, Lily of the Valley, and a Touch of Marine. It was okay. Oopsies, I knocked my tripod. Um, it was just okay. Like this one was not berry and grapefruity enough. It was a. It had does have like a touch of marine vibes. It just wasn't super strong. Also, like I tried it in a big area. I tried it in my bedroom, and it was like just all right. Nothing spectacular. Nothing that's gonna blow my blow me away. So she didn't stay, especially because these are six fifty. So. That 50 cents extra adds up. All right, and then I just have a couple things. The White Sand Beaches Tag, Deep Blue Waters, Coastal Tiari Flower, Sea Salted Lavender. Maybe I didn't do this last month, I don't remember. But White Sand Beaches I had to match the little tester candle, which, mm, so good. Great masculine scent, lovely, lovely for summer. And then, this is, oh, I have a car bar in, a car bar clip in coconut lemongrass. Really enjoyed this one. I'm not a lemongrass person, but the coconut in here and the lemon part, perfect. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And then the last thing that I have to share is a travel twist in Blue Grotto. So I actually got this as part of the whiff box. Thought, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. I was like, what in the world am I like who needs these who uses these I brought this on vacation with me and I loved it <laughs> I loved it so on vacation I brought this in my suitcase and I brought like the mini fan that I got in the same with box for the room so I put this in the suitcase and then after I unpacked everything, I just put the suitcase in the closet and then put this on top of the suitcase so it wasn't inside anymore. And it fragranced the closet so nicely. Now, I don't know if all of them are this strong, but Blue Grotto is a super, super strong scent. So maybe it's just because of it was this scent, but I really liked it. And I, I wouldn't purchase these like a lot, but if I, I travel at least hopefully twice a year for big long trips, like week trips. And I would definitely buy them for a week long trip. I, I, I kind of would. Like as long as they're this scent, like this strong, I got it. So it's literally, you just, you literally just twist it. Like that means there's no scent coming out. And then this means that there is scent coming out. And that little felt is scented in the scent of Blue Grotto. And it lasted like... It lasted like a week and then I brought it home and I put it in my room. Like this still smells, but it's not fragrancing the air sort of thing. So I thought these were gimmicky. I thought these were uh, like a cash grab, like what in the world, but they actually are super nice. Not something I would purchase a lot of, probably something I would try to purchase on sale. Like, especially now that the catalog's on sale, I might buy one or two for now in the summer sense that I like, and then just save them for next year's trip. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. I, I would I would get it again. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm being honest. But that was not my initial thought. My initial thought was, that is so dumb. <laughs> but it turned out to be great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around this long if you've stuck around to the end. I really, really appreciate you. Like I said at the beginning, I'm going to try and be better at youtube <laughs> although if i'm not i'm not it's whatever it's a, just a fun hobby like i said so i'm not trying to like put pressure on myself it's just a fun hobby for me if the only thing i do is empties for a couple months then that's the only thing that i do and i hope that you guys will watch and enjoy and hang out with me so yeah let me know down below how you guys have been what you guys have been melting are you on to team fall now that it's august 1st i am not don't even ask me it's still summer in this house Okay, we're still going in our pool. It is summer, summer. it is warm, it's summer, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.